18 at Southern Hills, yes. coming down the stretch. You remember that shot vividly? How much data do you kind of like remember about something like that? Oh, what a beautiful shot too. The wind was left to right a little bit of help and it was a pretty, pretty comfortable eight iron number. I mean, we, the pin was so tough, just kind of right over that hill and on a down slope. And, um, you know, if you're 15 feet short or 20 feet short, it's going to come all the way to the front of the green or off. And where I was at at the time, I mean, a birdie would have been helpful for sure. Um, so I need to be aggressive, but obviously couldn't afford to make a bogey. So it was one of those, I mean, and that's exactly why I do all this work is realistically to get the ball close, I had about a tabletop space to land it in. I mean, I remember us wanting to land it three short because I had, I think it was about five paces on top there from where the, the bridge came and then where the pin was. So we had to land it probably three short to get it close. It's probably about a 170 yard shot with an eight iron, which is stock. It's pretty, pretty comfortable number and started just left of it and have the wind take it and it landed exactly three short. I do remember it landed exactly on the number we wanted. It just ended up rolling out a little bit further to the right. It's just in time again at the PGA Championship. But I mean, it was, yeah, it was a perfectly executed shot and wish I would have made the putt, but it all worked out. It okay, worked anyway. Out. <laughs> all right, we're out on the range with Justin Thomas here. I think I'm just gonna pepper him with questions. What course on tour are you shaping the most shots, do you think? I think Sawgrass is such a cool, well-designed course because I've never played a place where you have to shape it, or you don't have to, but the hole asks you to shape it two different ways on the same hole. You know, you look at like number one, it asks for a fade off the tee, a draw into the green. Number two is a draw off the tee, a fade into the green. It just makes it a lot harder. You know, you have some pins out there that are, you can get a cut close to it, but it's significantly easier to get a draw close to it. Right. So I think it's, you know, those are the chances or those are the times where I try to use that to my advantage kind of thing. Let's see how much you can get one going here. Oh, you want me to like really curve one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's not going to stop until it runs into something. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, that's just stuff I did as a kid, you know, you come out here and it's, you know, it's, you go to this first pin right here and you're like, oh, okay, that looks fun. Like, let's try to hit hit an eight iron to it. You know, you're probably never gonna use that, but next thing you know, it's, you're playing TPC Sawgrass <laughs> and the players and it's blowing 75 miles an hour and I have to hit a six iron on 17. And right. then all of a sudden, all those days, you know, when I'm doing that, come in handy. So you have the, the prototype irons in here, which are mm -hmm. very scary for me to look down at, <laughs> but you have the T104 iron in here. Yes, Which do. is much more my speed. Talk to me about what that, does for you, why you make a change. Why don't you play the, the protos all the way through the bag? Even as a, a, a good ball striker, or, you know, I feel like that's my strength. Um, it's still hard to hit a four iron sometimes. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day, you know, if I'm not hitting it great and looking down at that four iron blade with no offset, it's pretty intimidating um, for one. But two, I think starting to see it more with other guys is that just it's just hard to get the ball in the air it's hard to get them to stop the greens are getting firmer and you know if i'm hitting this in whether it be a par three or par four or par five like i'm going to want to hold the green i don't want something that lands on it and takes off obviously you get a situation like a an open championship or you're hitting a lot of irons off the tee it might be a different ball game but for the most part if i'm hitting a four iron it's into a green and it needs to be something high enough to hold the green so did some work with jj titleist and found the T100 was a good combination of, you know, still being able to hit it down if I need to, but it just naturally goes higher just with how it's built, how it's made. Uh, and I can really hit it up in the air if I want or need to kind of thing. I'll try and slice one. When you're gonna hit like a massive slice like this, are you looking at the start point, the end point, both? What a little you... bit of both. I mean, yeah. it obviously it's like- More art than science. Hitting a cut, yeah, it just, you know, if you're in a weird situation, it's not like I'm in the fairway and I'm hitting a shot into a green. This is like a, I had a bad tee shot and I need to cut it out or play in a place like Harbor Town and you can get kind of blocked out or something. So, I mean, I'd be looking kind of same as the hook earlier, just where I need to come down. So I'll act like this first pin is a tree and I need to slice it around it and get it over there to that other pin. So okay. 
it's really just get super open with my feet you know open the face so you don't want to turn it over and then just almost feel like I'm swinging across my feet line and really just swing over to the left so yeah I mean I'm when I'm looking up I'm kind of seeing it yes yeah, seeing where it's starting and then finishing and for me I always like my last look to be where I'm starting it I got the wind helping me this That's direction. True. Do you have a favorite ball striking drill? My tendency is to get from the inside on the way down and I like to cut the ball. So swinging from the inside is uh, not good. That's <laughs> a pretty, pretty good recipe for not cutting it. So I'll do this sometime. I don't know where I saw it as a kid, but it's just kind of a little, a little drill for me that I, I react well to objects, you know, whether if, if it's putting, you know, I, and I'm taking it inside, I put a tee there and I just react to it. I, I don't, like, I can think of swinging left or I can think of hitting a pull cut or whatever it is, but, you know, if I have something there, I just have to miss it. And however I miss it, I don't care. But if I miss that, that means that I'm swinging far enough left. So it should produce, you know, better stuff for me. So I, I do it like this with two balls to emphasize, you know, kind of feel like I'm swinging here. If I was swinging too much the other way, I would move them like this to try to feel like I'm swinging like that. Yeah. <laughs> I usually hit it pretty good when I do this drill. I should do it more maybe, but <laughs> that's but then, wild. But then yeah, it'd be, I could do it the other way of, I mean, you obviously saw that was just a nice little tight fade, which is the shot that I like to hit. And then so this is what, like if you're this, coming over the top of it or this, something. This would be, yeah, exactly. More out. If yeah. you're hitting a big slice, you know, you do this to work on drawing it. You, you confuse me too much, Jordan. I'm, I'm, this is, he's making it much easier. Hey, Jordan. I, I agree. That's good. <laughs> like I said, I know how to do it. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. Jordan, how far should I hit this four iron? Carry? Yeah. 87. 87 yards? Yep. <laughs> I don't I know why even... you asked me if you thought I was going to say, oh, 222. It's... This is really impressive if I fly at 87 <laughs> yards. <laughs> I think that's got to be close. 84. 67. 67. It's in the water. 218. Drop it like a feather. Oh, yeah. It's feathery. 215. 216. Round that's a, up, dude. Oh, 216. What are you doing? 216. I'm sorry. You're, you're that's, absolutely right. That's, that's Six footer instead of a nine footer. That's, that's a big difference. My math's correct. That's less than half a percent off. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see one, let's see a middle one here, 153. 153 with the yeah. four iron? Yeah. <laughs> He's gave you 87. What the hell's wrong with you guys? That pin looks like it's about 153, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It looks a little Sneaky nice. Go? Like, uh, go? I think that's going to be okay. <laughs> 160. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that actually was pretty good. <laughs> Alright, hit a high draw that carries a hundred and forty-seven. Need a good lie for this. <laughs> Actually, no, you can, you can hit it 175. Oh, thanks. Yeah, 175. High draw. Drop okay. kick, that's Go one way to turn it over. It's gonna be pretty Go. close too, right? I think it's pretty good. Yeah. 170. 170. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my job's done here. Good job, guys. All right. I, I don't know if I'm more confused, if I have more clarity or not, but that, that was, it was interesting either yeah, way. Yeah, you got it. <laughs>